Okay guys, so here I want to sh show you how to keyframe uh, your tongue from the beginning. So here is my animation. And you see that when I click the body, all my keyframe in the timeline will show up. So, and here is for the graph editor. You see that I added the noise in the modifi modifier tab. This noise, its job is that if you look correctly, you see that it goes up and down in Z axis. A little bit, you see. And look at that. Just a little bit of realism. So uh, what we can do is we can work on that on the wheel per shading. So we go here timeline and I will select all my keyframe and delete those. There is three kind of animation. I have one for camera and one for this, uh, which is focal length and one of the uh, tank so we come from the top we we'll look at from here from the top okay so from here we have anything and we grab our tank we move that in g let me turn that one so we move that by y grab by g and y and then put it right there and then add a keyframe so you can come here and turn on auto keyframe it will every movement and rotation you do it will take a keyframe it will set the keyframe automatically so in this case so we press i on your keyboard and we just working on location which is x y and z which is if you press and on that one we just will work on that so in y okay and i press uh, zero go to the camera mode so he, from here i will grab uh, go from here from the timeline i will go to the frame 150 okay you can time here 150 it come exactly here so now grab that one gy and set it here okay and again y and you can come here as well you see that this is yellow which means that it need to set uh, or add keyframe so press y on that and now we have new keyframe you see here so by that y and it comes here Okay, from this case, we need to change that a little bit further. So grab that by G and Y. Okay, until here, that's enough. So from this point to this point, if we go and we delete all the, all the keyframe, keyframes, you see that if we grab that the body of the tongue and grab by G and Y, you see that the vehicle rotates proper, properly and very clearly so no issue at all you see that it set on the ground perfectly and we maybe need to grab this floor and by g and z axis a little bit down so that it doesn't uh, the vehicle doesn't go inside our ground so perfect and this is our stone so now uh, grab that one again from the top press G set it here Wha press I and location and again in frame 150 grab that by G and slightly move that in Y axis and boom look at and the starch 
you see that this is a smooth thing. Uh, first, it is stable and then move. And from here, slowly it will stop. If you want, in some case, you will change that. So, that, for example, I want to show you. Look at here. Go to the interpolation. Just right click here. Go to the interpolation. And uh, the hotkey for that is T. You see, if you press, for example, T here, this will pop up. Right now, I, I'm using Bezier, okay? This is the Bezier, which from, uh, it's very smooth from zero, and it goes up and down. This is, you see, clearly in the graph editor. You see here? Like a smooth, and then come back. And now what will happen if I press T and set it on the linear? You see it is sharp. It is starting at once. Look at and it will stop. Bam. No smoothing at all. So press T again and set it on Bezier. Okay. And then we are done now with our uh, Y, set it on timeline and go up again here. So from this uh, location, 150. Now I want to rotate so that this tongue look at us, look at the camera, okay? Here our camera, we can set up one camera or multiple camera for animation. But in this case, I have just one. And a keyframe or five keyframe or ten before it is stopped. So I will add another keyframe for location. Okay. So uh, in that case, and I come here to frame 20, uh, 240. So that's 200, and R and Z. Look here, it will change, or you can grab from here as well. And save that on 30. Pay attention that our tongue is just rotating in 90 degrees, okay? So if we press uh, one of these vehicle and we go to the constraint, we see that we have just 90 degrees. So it will rotate only 90 degrees. And so now look at here and it will. So at this, at this point, I want to this, our tongue move a little bit backward. So here, this is our location and I will set again. Mm, here I will set again a keyframe for, uh, for our location. Okay. Like that. Boom. And from this time, I want to add another keyframe uh, and set this one from the global to local. So now if you come from the top, you see that this is in local. Okay. And now there is, I can grab that by and type Y only. I'll just a, a little bit and press keyframe for I. Okay. Now it rotate and as, at the same time it goes backward. So pay attention for these rocks here. Okay. And now again we have uh, the rotation here. And you can just play around with those. And I can add here some more keyframe, for example, for for R, just press I and R, and then from here we can add um, 300. So from here we can go like that, okay? In the Z axis, so press I in this in this one, and look at there. Boom. Okay. 
and now when it stun suppress again why to lock this between no move at all and again turn back to zero it look here in in y-axis and now we have uh, and from here press another keyframe for y location okay we are just working with z and y okay guys and from here i set that on 450 maybe and grab by g and y and you see that our tongue move very nicely and until here and press i and location and now if we gonna see our tongue from without from world uh, scene so it's look like it come and stand look around and a little bit turning and again turn back and it goes okay and as well for this one for the gun it has all, all, as well some keyframe at first it will start from this one from here and then it will come and rotate and again it will look for enemy and again it will go so it's nothing too complex and for our camera we have the camera right here you see that I added some keyframe for, as well and point here is the animation which we did uh, here so I hope you enjoy